Hi, this is Professor Cher Rosenfield. Um, I'm an instructor in the School of Politics and Global Studies, and today I'm going to talk to you about reading your syllabi for important information. So what you see before you are the sample uh, syllabi from POS 310, American National Government, POS 350, Comparative Politics, and POS 360, World Politics. Keep in mind that what we're going to show you today are examples from previous semesters. So if you're taking one of these classes right now, definitely don't use this as the information for your class. Um, and what you'll see here, this is information that's usually found on the first page. And syllabi often lists where the course meets and when the course meets. We also tend to list office hours, so when you can find your instructor in their offices if you have questions or concerns. Um, and oftentimes ways to contact them, usually via email or to the um, phone in their office. Now, other important information that your syllabi tend to list are course grade components. And so what you see here is that each instructor lists things out differently and different assignments are worth different amounts in different classes. So in POS 310, there's a midterm and a final worth 45% of your grade. In POS 350, there are exams worth 40% of your grade. And in POS 360, there are three exams worth 65% of your grade. And so you'll note that it's a different amount in each class. And so this is an important thing to read to know how much each different type of assignment or exam are worth to this specific course's overall grade. You'll also find course schedules. These are usually at the end of your syllabus. And it'll list by date, usually the topic covered in that class or class sessions, um, the required readings for the class or class sessions, as well as exams, quizzes, or other things that are scheduled for those days. Um, and so you'll see POS 310 lists by date, topic, required readings, and whether or not there are other things. POS 350 and 360 do the same, just in different formats. Each of the classes also will list exam um, makeup policies and late policies for things like papers or other assignments. Um, but again, remember that each instructor lists these things differently. So in POS 310, you can see that no makeup tests are given except in the case of serious medical or personal emergencies, and late papers are penalized um, by specific assignment type. In POS 350, you'll note that there are uh, makeup exams for the midterm only, but for certain reasons. Final exams, of course, can't be rescheduled because they're set by the university registrar. And in POS 360, there are no makeup assignments, papers, or exams, except in the case of emergency or university excused absence, but you need to contact the instructor prior to class. And so it's important to read each syllabus for the specific policies related to that specific class. To access syllabi, usually you'll find them on your Blackboard page for those classes. Um, so this is an example of what your MyASU page will look like, and you'll see the specific classes you're taking by the instructors listed. And here's where you'll find the information for Blackboard. So if you click on this link, it'll take you to a list of the courses that you're enrolled in and all of the specific Blackboard pages for those courses. If you don't see a Blackboard page for a course you're enrolled in, it means there is no Blackboard page that the instructor has created. To find the syllabus, usually it'll be in one of three places in your Blackboard page. You go, if you go to the specific class, once you click on that link, it'll take you to the Blackboard page and either there will be a specific section listed syllabus and that will be where you can find the syllabus or it'll be in one of two other places. Either in course information, if you click on it, you'll see a link to a syllabus or in the content section, you click on it and you'll usually see a link to the syllabus. If after looking through the Blackboard page for the course, you still can't find the syllabus, what you should do is email the instructor to ask if there is a place that you're just not looking um, that the syllabus is listed or if they can send an electronic copy of the syllabus to you. 